Okay, doing a service call. We got, uh, looks like a lot of water. City couldn't get it started. It's kind of leaky. Leaky drain valve. No spark. First thing we gotta do is change this drain valve. It kinda feels like deja vu from the other night. There we go, get a vacuum going. Oh gee, it's like completely, completely clogged. That's okay. We don't want to break it anyway. screw with my eyes. I swear, I handle wrenches on a regular basis. I'm trying not to cut my hands on this earthquake strap. water in the combustion chamber which means it's up in the insulation Nice to meet you, John. Yeah. yeah, I was on the wrong side of the street. Oh, don't no, worry. I know you do. So, um, the thing is, you work at night. That's the thing. You don't work in the daytime. I work in the day, and then Somewhere I else. I also work at night. Yeah. Oh, yeah so yeah. I changed your drain valve. Whatever you change. Because it was leaking, and you have water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna drill a little hole down just here. To drain. Just to drain the water out. I appreciate it. And then um, I didn't see any spark at all, but I think your I think the clicker's probably bad. It doesn't matter. We'll get that all fixed. You got it. We'll I'll get tell it. the tenants on now. Okay. Coming out. 
I see this all the time. The, the, the plastic drain valves are terrible. They don't handle the heat and the pressure very well. They start leaking. Everything runs down. Yeah. Soaks into the uh, insulation, and then it kind of chokes the water heater out a little bit. Yeah. Can I remove this? It's all wet. I don't care. Do you care? Yeah. I, mean, no, I don't care. You do what you. Okay. Because uh, it's it's not. Eventually, I will get you uh, installed. Both new water heater when you think you're going to give me a good price. Oh yeah, yeah. Both I got, of them. I got the some. Good, I got some good used ones right now. Oh really? Yeah, they're only. Um, Not bad for the water heater. They're a little bit bigger. These are 30s, so they're like a little bit bigger. But they will fit here. I think. I think we can fit two smaller ones in. Yeah, they're about 20 inches, so you have lots of room between them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, we're talking the, at the moment this. But sure. We'll be in yeah. touch because I manage a few other apartments. Oh, okay. Also. Good, good. Yeah, I got a lot of them. So yeah. I need so this to. Is where uh, we can. At the moment, I mean, she gave me a very short notice that, oh, we don't have any pilot light. Yeah. I said, okay. Yeah. You so got the right guy. Yeah, I saw your ad and I said, wait a minute. I, I, I do need a lot of Craigslist. I sell a lot ah, of things for Craigslist. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, me too. I was. Uh, and I saw, I said, oh, if it doesn't leak, I can fix it. I said, oh, this is the guy. <laughs> yeah, I apologize. Um, because you need to bend a lot of this. Oh, yeah, thank knees. you. Oh, perfect. Yes. It's clean. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's clean. Yeah, it's clean. Yeah, clean. Yeah, Flashlight going. I'm determined to drop all my tools in the water here. Like it was a little bit blocked. I guess we could try it real fast. I didn't, I didn't see any spark. It'd be nice to. Hoping it'd be easy, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. I do like, uh, you know, I manage the projects and yeah. do the estimating and scheduling, and all the fun stuff. And the guys are, the guys are all the heroes. 
So you know the contractors who can build from the ground up? Yeah, oh yeah, we just built the place from the ground up. We just built an ADU yeah. recently. We have a but I little, little, like a duplex step in the front house. I mean, the back house is a little bit, uh, back house is a little bit uh, smaller, but there's a land. There was a house in the front mm -hmm. once. I think it burned up, burned down, uh -huh. and then they just leave the land by itself. So okay. the owner bought it, and uh, I managed the house, and they asked me to, if I know someone who can build it. Uh, okay. So no, this is trash. Yeah. So maybe yeah. I'll talk to you about that also very soon. Okay. Yeah. No problem. You've. Uh, <sighs> Try out of here. You got your. There we go. So, you got the, the TRD. So, when the water gets in there. Yeah. When the water gets. Here's a good one. Okay. All put right. the good one in. Yeah, we'll put the good one in. When yeah, the water gets in there, it creates too much heat. Even the bad ones. And, it, and it pops the. Okay, it so pops you know the TRD, so the TRD wow. trips, which cuts off the oxygen. Yeah. So we're gonna put a new one in here. That would be great. So the TRD is tripped. That's been replaced. I want to see what's going on with the back. The valve came up right away. You heard the gas coming out of the uh, pilot. You know the valve is good. Rotate it a little bit, clean up the spark rod.
nothing on here. Oh, they you. gave me that. They said, go, go use it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Very, very nice tenants. Yeah. Once in a while you get bad ones, but then thank God for the eviction. Right. The eviction costs a lot of money, though. Yeah? Yeah, it used to be, used to be 1500 now it's 6000 Jeez. Yeah, I just evicted a couple of people. That's a lot of money, yeah. They just don't want to pay the rent. They said, no, we don't have the money. Yeah. You can use it. I don't want the towel anymore, so you can use it lavishly the way you want oh. to use it. Oh, okay. Thank you. No, you're welcome. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, but that's a part of the job. Yeah. Some people are, for example, we just, my partner just sold the house, mm -hmm. and and uh, the lady, uh, she, she couldn't find, because they were on Section 8, Mm -hmm. She couldn't find the matching house, okay. so she just stopped paying the rent and she said, okay, evict me. Eviction take a long time. So she owed me $20,000. Oh my gosh. I know. And now she ran away. I don't know where she's at. Yeah. Plus, even if I catch her, I cannot get the money yeah. because... Uh, because she doesn't have it. Yeah, because of the Section 8. She doesn't. She said, she told me that. She said, you cannot get the blood out of her turn it. Yeah. So I said, well... This is the this is the kind of problem you run into when uh -huh. when people don't want to pay the rent and they don't have a job. Yeah. They depend on the system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to pay for it. Yeah. And uh, and end of the day, we we as a property manager, or owners, partners, we pay, end up paying all that too for these people. Right. So. Section eight and this and that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely tough times going on. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. Exactly. Time now yeah, yeah, call me anytime. Oh, I'm, I'm available I after work and on the weekend. Definitely weekends. need those replacement. Yeah, yeah. When you, no, not rush. Uh -huh. Whenever you run into two nice ones, okay. hey, call me and say, hey, I got a couple of nice ones, I can go install it. Okay. And I pay cash. I don't. Right. You okay. Know. Yeah, no, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like that. We uh, definitely like that. Alright, so we got the drain valve re replaced, so that should stop your leak mm -hmm. for, you know, to 2016. Yeah. So, eh, you're a couple years beyond your warranty. Yeah. So that'll dry out. Yeah. You had a blocked pilot tube a little bit. We got yeah. that cleared. We replaced the broken TRD, which yeah. cuts the airflow off. Wow. They cleaned up the spark rod a little bit so that it would give a little healthier of a spark which it did and then once nice. I just kind of took everything apart cleaned it a little bit put it back together replaced the missing parts Beautiful. yeah so I think you're good and hopefully it lasts for a really 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 long time but uh, you know maybe a couple more years you yeah to, I think you'd be lucky yeah so yeah cool is it on it's on yeah it's on right now see the see the lights blinking blue yeah yeah the lights blink a blue. See the flame down flame, in the I saw that. down in the glass down there. So it's kind of 
It's gonna. Um, there's still a little water vapor and stuff that just. That's why it's. That's why it's orange. It's what. Yeah, you get you get condensation. What, what is this thing? Oh, that's this is a. I have a YouTube channel. So I have a chance. So I I film all my service oh, calls my, and then I help people hopefully. Oh, so sweet. So all, nice. all over the country. So, oh, nice. Yeah. yeah so nice. Don't don't worry. Too many people won't see it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get more than a couple hundred views. Yeah. But yeah, so that's my little camera there. Yeah. So hope that's okay. Uh, oh, I gotta turn the water. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, turn the water off. So the water's back on. So I, th I think we're good. Yeah. You have to put the plate on. Yes. Oh, sure. Yeah, we'll put the plate. On. Yeah, we don't want we don't want section eight doing an inspection. All right. Good deal. I think we've got the good news. And I was you ready. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what this is. Okay, a uh, little bit of an awkward ending there for the water heater, but that's because the homeowner was there. But uh, appreciate you watching this video. Consider subscribing to the channel. Sorry about the low light, but the sun is going down right now. And uh, basically what was happening, we had water dripping from the uh, plastic drain valve, got into the combustion chamber, flooded it, flooded the insulation, created um, excessive heat in there that burst the TRD also I think that the uh, the pilot tube was also clogged may not have been clogged but um, it definitely resisted when I blew into it and then it cleared so what we did is we changed the drain valve uh, that prevents the future water we drilled a hole in the bottom to get the water out um, we pulled the burner assembly out replace the busted TRD I couldn't really get that on film because it's a 30 gallon everything's super small but that basically broke uh, put a new one in there that allows fresh air to come back in um, ripped out some insulation to let some more oxygen in it doesn't matter on this thing anyway it's a 2016 it's got maybe a couple years left in it its days of efficiency are over um, pulled the burner assembly out and kind of cleaned up the spark rod a little bit so we could get a little bit better spark I just took the uh, the thermal pile and rotated it because usually there's like a, a smoky side and that'll kind of uh, insulate the electricity from arcing so I rotated it to the fresh side also gives it a little more electricity when it heats up and that gave a better spark put everything back together again um, purged it a little bit and came right up and uh, we were good after that also tested the valve with my little um, simulated thermopile voltage and yeah we were good so um, yeah another saved water heater from the brink of extinction he also wants me to uh, install two good ones when I get them well those will be 30 gallon um, I'm probably not gonna get them to be honest with you but a good deal i'd like to uh to get the work so i'll have to save his number in my phone but thanks for watching consider subscribing to the channel and you guys have a great rest of your day